Hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Annabelle and I'm with Mark, my husband. Hi everyone. So hello, this is our house in France. Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you found us. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos because that's really going to help our channel. And um, so anyone who has been following us on Annabella's Sanctuary, thank you for coming here and finding us back here on this channel, Our Life in France, Annabelle and Mark, uh, because we have switched over, haven't we? You so have, yeah. we've kind of created two channels. Yeah, split the two out. So you've got one for shadows and you've got one for us, home, decorating, renovating, doing everything we do here. Yeah, that's right. So we just thought we'd do that because, you know, I know there's, we know there's people that want to watch the outings and the chateau visits and aren't really interested in, you know, our renovating and decorating and things. So that's why we've done it, basically. And we hope, you know, that hasn't caused too much confusion <laughs> or anything, but I think we're just getting to the swing of it and I think it'll be fine, ain't it? It will. I think it all makes sense. So, moving on, here we are today in our kitchen, and look at it, I think it's pretty close to being finished. Well, Tony, the tiling, um, it's kind of, um, he does a bit of everything, he's like a craftsman sort of man, what would you call that? Like he, he's, he, man of all trades. He does all sorts, but mainly to do with wall work, so plastering, tiling, and Kind of that kind of work, I think, is where he, yeah. his mainstay is. Yeah, he does. But, yes, we have been waiting probably about a year and a bit. A year, at least. Yeah. Uh, it, it, <laughs> you know, a, a, a French two weeks, let's put it that way. It's, it's been taking a little while to get to this point. Um, yeah. But, but he got it. But he's finally been, mm. and just when he arrived, I was leaving, because I was going off for a, a week with work just um, and you boys were left to it and Tony arrived so you were with Tony probably most of the week. Yeah he was here most of the week and um, <laughs> left me making some decisions that I didn't expect to have to make. Um, you had to project manage didn't you? Project manage I don't mind I can do project manage. Yeah I know, that, I that know. Is fine. I'm not saying it, you can't. Project management's good it's yes. uh, making decisions on your behalf um, and okay. Any, any husband out there will understand where I'm coming from. Making, you did fine. Making decisions for your wife you know, is, is not always the easiest thing. That's true. It's <laughs> not. It's, I, I can imagine it's a bit, it was a bit stressful. Fraught with danger, I think they were oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> But no, I'm, I think we've made the right decisions and it's all turned out You've for done the best. really well. But we're going to take you around and we'll show you. Mm. We finally had the kitchen tiled in these lovely white and blue tiles. And uh, you can explain what you were worried about. Shall I grab the camera? Yeah, go it for it, let's have a look. So, yeah, obviously Annabelle went out and we, we chose the tiles together. And so we knew what colors with tiles we were gonna be getting. But you'll notice here the grouting. We originally, or sorry, we, the raw we, originally decided that this was going to be white, so we we're going to have white grouting. But when Tony turned up to do the tiling and started putting the grouting on, it was not white. It was very much grey, and it looked a lot darker than it does now because it lightens up. But, yeah, so I had to, to work out, was it going to be the right decision or not? Obviously, there was a bit of mm. back and forward with yourself. Yeah to make sure that it was the right decision. I could tell you were worried. Mm. A little you bit. You were worried to oh, tell me. Well, but you said to me, I said, oh, um, the grouting is, uh, isn't is white. And I said, well, what's the colour? <laughs> you said it's grey. Yeah. So I thought, oh, okay. I said, and then I replied, oh, but it should be white. Yeah, that, that was my concern. Is if it should be white, but maybe it I should be. But I wasn't worried. No. I wasn't, I wasn't I, worried. Because I, I, I remember yeah. choosing the grey grout for the previous um, tiles and I thought oh it must have been on the records that we'd gone for a, a grey. Yeah it was it was but mm, actually okay. all in all I think it was the best decision that the best accident that could have happened yeah so it's turned out yeah. really really nice That's it's not a 
dark grey at all. It's a very light grey. When it dried, it's a very light mm. grey. Mm. But it works so well with the, the kitchen because we've got yes. grey and white in the kitchen. We've got the It grey does because we've got the grey on the doors and it actually matches the same colour grey, doesn't it, that's on these doors here? It really does. And luckily, it really actually matches them, which is really, really good. Um, so it's turned out really, really well. And I yes. Think, all is. in all, I'm actually really, really happy with how it looks. Yeah. Um, and I think it's turned out really, really good. Yeah, I think it has as well. Just needs to fill and grab it all. But it looks, it's gonna look great. I mean, we'll have our hood cover on there. It's gonna look great. Look at that. With the units. Oh yeah. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is, yeah, this is where we obviously, we've got the two tones, we've got the, oh, I can't think the of the borders. word. Right? The border, bordering. that's the word I'm looking for. The yeah, bordering. Yeah. So we've got bordering around the top, and yeah, blue on the bottom, and then white at the top. And I think it looks really, really nice. It looks really yeah, good. And very we, classy, I think. It does. Um, we're very happy with it. We are. But uh, because the authentic kitchen that we saw at the Chateau d'Or had this kind of tiling, bit, not exact, but similar. And they had the top bit, they left the upper bit just white. So um, that's what we did because it looks authentic. And then we're going to maybe put some um, copper rods. Yeah, some to copper. hang some pans and maybe utensils or something maybe the pans across here yeah that's the next thing to do to find the right attachment to get to put on the end of the copper piping so we'll put that onto the wall um, and it'll look really nice but like you say i think the how it's done it's the traditional it's just it looks traditional and it's in keeping with the house and with the kitchen and it goes well with this nice blue that we've got in here this this dark blue i do love this for the kitchen it's so practical but it's nice because it's all white and blues in here. And I just, yeah, it feels really homely. So now we've finally got the tiles done, it feels like the kitchen has really just come together and it's just completed the kitchen, which is lovely. Although there's still little things to do, you know, but the bulk of it, the big bulk of it is done. And then over in the cooker area over here, We've done it from top to bottom, basically. Um, the tiles go all the way down to the bottom. So behind, it's all completely tiled. Yes. Yeah. So that's it. So we just 
Now accessorising with our copper bits because we really wanted to bring the copper into the kitchen and so that's just going to take a bit of time, you know, hanging everything up and getting everything, you know, where we want it because we've got this lovely copper bowl here that we love, haven't we? Oh yeah, the big jam pan. Yeah, that's amazing. We love that. It looks really, really good. Yeah. We, that gets a lot of use actually when it's jam season and it's time to make our new jams. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So we might hang that maybe above the door or something. I don't know yet. Or I just plonk it on top of the cooker when we're not using it and uh, it's just like this, you know, we just kind of have it well yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, so we're really happy, aren't we, with it? Yeah, so I think all in all, I think we're really happy with the end results of the kitchen, aren't we? Yes. Okay. Really, really happy and we're just relieved, I think, that the tiles are done and our kitchen looks pretty much done. I think the only other thing you're going to do is make a butcher's table. Oh we? yes, that is what I need to do. I, I made something similar for our son's fish tank. Yes. He's got a monstrously large metre length fish tank. So I made something, a table basically for it out of wood um, and we put it in the kitchen and it looked really, really good. Yeah, we tried it in here just to see what it would be like because it looked exactly like what I've had in mind for this kitchen because we did have the kitchen table in here. And it, as much as I love it, I just it felt too much of a squeeze in here with all the chairs and the table. So I, you know, I was thinking of looking out for a, like an old butcher's table but we just can't find it. I can't find what I'm looking for. It's really hard to come across these. You know, they're just, they're not too wide. They're pretty, you know, thin and about that size. And it's gotta be the right height. And I wanna be able to put pans and things underneath it, you know, just for storage. And just to fit it against the cook, like next to the cooker yeah. under the window. And it's just been, and then you made that that piece of furniture, and it was really yeah. good. It, it almost didn't leave the kitchen. No, <laughs> I nearly pinched it, but you know, our son needs it for his bedroom. So you're going to make another one. I'm gonna make another one, um, and it's, yeah, it'll be, be perfect for what we want in the kitchen, and it'll, and it'll be, be to your design, how you want it. Yeah, and you've got a really good, um, I don't know, you've got a good skill there that I didn't know you could do that. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew I could hammer and screw some nail and put some wood together? No, but yeah, you did a really good job. It worked out really well. So when we make that, when you make that, the <laughs> royal wing, but when I, we will we'll video it, we're yeah. going to share it, and, um, and we'll probably paint it a nice grey maybe, just to go with the grey on the doors, because yeah. we have lots of blue. But anyway, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it works out. But yeah, that, that's the next addition. And obviously okay. putting up the brass rails in here as well. Yeah. Um, oh, and the tap. Oh yeah, we need a tap as well, don't we? Yeah, we are yeah. going to look for one, yeah. a got, nice copper tap. Got to have a copper tap, I think. It will, it will fit nicely. You know the copper ones with the ceramic um, yes. little, what's the word? The little handles. handles, the little ceramic handles in blue and white. In fact, like I've got this little kettle and I get inspiration from things like this that I find at the Brockons. <laughs> oh god, but that's come off. But there's, <laughs> there's a little handle here. The handle has this lovely ceramic blue and white. And that's, I want to find a kitchen tap basically, we'll like find, that. We'll find them the best. So it's very specific. Yeah. You have to find it exactly like this. <laughs> but yeah. We will find them. You see, you see them for sale on, on different websites and so forth. And, yeah. and I, well, I've seen them in a few shops, but it's got. I've seen one which I thought would look quite good, but it wasn't copper. It's like fake coloured mm -hmm. metal, which looked like copper. Yeah. Um, but I think proper copper is going to look really good. Oh, definitely. I think it's just going to look beautiful. Yeah, it look I've got it in my. We have it, don't we, in our minds, like exactly how we yeah. want it. And, so yeah, and I think it's just those little authentic touches mm. that make it feel special and honest. You know? The little additions, yeah. Yes. The little additions. Yes. But so, there we are. Those are almost yeah, finished kitchen. Well. <laughs> 
So um, that is the update of the kitchen. It is. And, um, and we just hope that you're all doing really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We hope that you subscribe to our channel, support the channel so it can grow. We've got lots. I know we haven't posted for quite a while, actually, but we have so many ideas for this channel um, and we've been so busy, but we will do we're going to do it because we're excited. Lots of new things coming along. It's going to be really, really yeah, good. Yeah, we've really got lots good. of things, haven't we, that we want to do. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. We send you all our love and um, take care. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, everyone. See you soon. Okay, bye. Bye.